Hello everyone, welcome back to the part 3 of our tutorial of the concepts for module 5 of sign 7. So in our previous videos, we have expressed concentration of solution using percent by volume. This time, we are going to express concentration of solution using percent by mass. So, it is defined as the amount of solute in each mass of solvents. It is expressed as grams of solute per 100 grams of solution. So, this is the symbol for percent by mass. It's percent symbol, small letter m over sm small letter m. So, the equation is percent by mass is equal to mass of solute divided by mass of solution times 100. Or, another equation, mass of solute divided by mass of solute plus mass of solvent times 100. So, the formula for percent by mass is just the same as the formula for percent by volume. So, what differs is the word mass. So, for the previous equations, we use volume. This time, let's use mass. The same formula. The same uh, for the numerator, it should be the solute. For the denominator, it should be the solution. For us to solve for the solution, if it's not given, just add solute and solvent and, and you'll have the solution. So let's solve right away the example. What is the percent by mass concentration of a solution that contains 5.30 grams of salt dissolved in 19.7 grams of water? So identify the given. So, we are looking for the mass concentration. So, the givens are 5.30 grams of salt. So, that is the solute, mass of solute. Then, 19.7 grams of water, that's the mass of solvent. For us to arrive at the mass of solution, all you have to do is to add them. Okay, add the two components. So, using the formula, Percent by mass is equal to mass of solute divided by mass of solute plus mass of solvent times 100. So, all you have to do is you substitute the given to the formula. So, mass of solute is 5.30 grams divided by mass of solute plus mass of solvent. Okay, 5.30 plus 19.7. So, just copy the numerator 5.30 grams divided by 5.30 grams plus 19.7 grams that's 25.0 grams okay so take note they have the same unit grams so just cancel out so what is left is 5.30 divided by 25.0 and multiply the answer to 100 you will arrive to 21.2 percent all right so just like in percent by volume the masses of the solute solvent and solution must be expressed in the same units so that's the rule in dividing we should have the same units before you can perform the operation all right so in this discussion we're going to uh, made mention of word carats so carats refer to golds okay so pure gold is referred to as 24 carats so when you see a jewelry is said to be 18 carats that contains 18 grams of gold okay 18 grams of gold okay and 14 carats of course that means 14 grams of gold all right so just take note of the concentration formula amount of solute divided by amount of solution then always remember that solution is equal to solute plus solvent and we have the conversion units or conversion factor here one kilogram is equal to 1000 grams and one liter is equal to 1000 milliliters so let's try to answer this problem here and take note to show the complete process of computation 
Alright, so for problem 1, what is the percent by mass concentration of a solution that contains 5.30 grams of salt dissolved in 19.7 grams of water? So we are given the solute and the solvent. So we have to look for the percent by mass. So recall the formula then, dot, and um, computing for the percent by mass, it should be mass solute divided by mass solution times 100. So, just substitute the given to the formula. So, mass solute is 5.30 grams. For the mass solution is 25 grams times 100. Using your calculator, 5.30 divided by 25. By the way, cancel out the unit because they are the same. Okay. So, after you cancel out, 5.30 divided by 25 and multiply the answer to 100, you will arrive to that 21.2%. 21 For problem number 2, it's your turn to practice on it. But I guess, yes, I know that you can do it already because you have learned a lot in the previous exercises. Let's go right away to the next uh, activity. So in here, okay, so again, let's uh, use the whole process for the computation. Alright, so let's start now for number one. So in number one, the givens are mass of solute, which is 8 grams copper, and the mass of solution, which is 100 grams. By the way, we call alloy if uh, we are going to mix metals, so we call it alloy as alloy. It's another term for the combination of the different metals, and that's the solution therefore. Okay, so we have the mass solution which is 100 grams. Alright then, let's recall the formula for mass of because we're looking for the percent by mass. So percent by mass is equal to mass solute, which is 8 grams, divided by mass solution, which is 100 grams, times 100, just copy. Using your calculator, again, cancel out the unit. They're the same uh, in the division process. So 8 divided by 100, that's 0 0.008. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, times 100, you'll arrive to 8% as the answer. Alright, so let's have problem number 2. So, you have 200 grams or a solution that contains 30 grams of hydrochloric acid. What percentage of your solution is made up of hydrochloric acid? So, the givens are mass of solute 30 grams. Mass solution is 200 grams. We're looking for the percent of by mass of hydrochloric. So 30 grams, just recall the formula and substitute. 30 grams divided by 200 grams times 100, you'll arrive at 15%. Alright, so let's solve problem number 3. Alright, so the givens are mass solution. Is 2,000 grams and we're already given for the percent by mass which is 2.8 percent we're looking for the mass of the solute so recall again the formula and substitute the givens to the formula so since we're given the percent by mass already such so as substitute the 2.8 percent here and mass solute it's the unknown then mass solution that's 2,000 okay 2,000 grams we are not going to use or copy times 100 because we have the percent symbol already as the given. So convert 2.8% to decimal. You may just divide 2.8 divided by 100. Then you will arrive to 0.028 is equal to N divided by 2000 grams. Let's do it this way. Just copy 0.028 is equal to N as the numerator divided by 2000 as the denominator. Of course, there's the grams here. Okay, so this is understood to have a denominator of 1. So all we have to do is we just cross multiply. N times what? It's N. And using our calculator, 0 
times 2,000. Okay, so the answer is 56 grams. Okay, I'm so sorry for my handwriting. I cannot control it. So, as a sort of check, you may just say 56 divided by 2,000, then times 100, your answer should arrive at 2.8% to so that and it's correct 2.8%. All right, for the what I can do part, it's your turn to prove what you've got. Okay? So why do health practitioners recommend us to use 70% alcohol than 40% alcohol? So, of course, 70% alcohol contains more alcohol than that of the 40% alcohol, okay? Then, why is it that food manufacturer places the nutritional label on the container of every bit of processed food sold by the grocery store? Okay, so it's, um, what do you think? For me, I am going to refer to the nutritional label if I want to... Uh, identify how many sodium, for instance, contains in that um, food. I write for the assessment part. Just refer your answers here. Okay, the answers are just here. So for the explanation of each number, I know you can already explain uh, to uh, to yourselves this. Um, the answers why is it for example number nine the answer is letter B okay so you just use the formula 18 carats which means 18 grams of gold so that's 18 divided by 24 times 100 and you'll get 75 percent okay for the additional activities this is again very easy so for you to identify the percent by mass of each gold Okay, so 10 carat gold, that means 10 grams of gold. So 10 divided by 24. Let's try to answer. So for this time, you are knowledgeable enough for our lesson. So for your additional learning, you have to solve for this. Your mother has a jewelry box full of gold jewels. She wants to give the 10 carat gold necklace to your aunt and a 14 carat gold bracelet to your sister. Your aunt and your sister wants to find out the percentage of gold on the jewels they had received by trying to pawn it in a pawn shop. Try to help the teller in finding out the percent by mass of gold on the jewels. To help you, there is an additional information. The composition of gold jewelry is expressed in carats. So instead of grams, it's expressed in carats. Gold has 24 parts of the solution or alloy. The alloying metal is usually copper. Identify the percent by mass of gold in the following composition. So for 10 carat gold, so that's 10 over 24. So that means 10 grams of out of 24 grams times 100 so it's 41.7 percent then for the 14 karat gold it's 14 divided by 24 times 100 percent and you'll have 58.3 percent so which has what's the question which has the greater percentage of gold so of course it's the 14 karat gold so I hope you learned something about our lesson and yes this is our advocacy to help you uh, my dear learners and I hope you are not becoming lazy um, by just waiting for the answers given by yours truly okay I am now uh, leaving I am your teacher once again in science, okay? Here in our channel is more terrible. If you have some additional questions, if you have some clarifications, feel free to message down below, okay? So thank you so much and I hope you learned a lot in this module. This is quantitative um, expressing quantitatively concentrations of solution so once again 
stay tuned for our future uploads. Bye-bye!